This is a quick video for anyone that's been considering getting a chamber vac. You really need to watch this before you make your mind up on it. But I'm talking about this Vivor chamber vac right here beside me. Now I do own another brand of a chamber vac and I've had it for about six years. And at the time that I had that or bought that, they were going for like $1,200. I think they come down to like a thousand now. It's one of the few things I've seen actually come down in price. But competition normally does that. You know, more competition, then you have to get more competitive. But I'm talking about the V-Board today. And let me show you this. It does everything my more expensive model does for about a third of the cost. All right, so this is the unit right here. It's got its front panel here. And here's a power switch over here. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And as you can see, everything powered up here. Now this is your vacuum dial. This will pull all the way down to a deep vacuum. This is the amount of time that it runs pulling the vacuum, 35 seconds. And you can adjust that all the way down to zero. Now, I'm not sure just how high it goes, but 35 seconds for most things going to be ideal if you want a vacuum pulled on it. If you just need to seal a bag, you can bring that to zero and it will just seal but it's actually selling for 2.2 seconds and it cools down for two seconds. All of that is adjustable. So the way a chamber vac works, unlike the food saver type vacuum sealers, instead of pulling a vacuum out of the bag, this is actually pulling a vacuum everywhere inside this chamber, including what's inside the bag. So when you close this dome down, it will, it will seal the bag while it's under deep vacuum. It'll cool the seal, then it releases the vacuum back to atmospheric pressure. And when that happens, everything just collapses. It just sucks in tight. I'll show you that real quick. So what that enables you to do is actually vacuum pack anything that's liquid. You can actually vacuum pack water in this. You can do stews, you can do gravies, you can do sauces, everything. I'm gonna show you that here in a little bit. And it does not try to suck it out of the bag like the food saver type vacuum sealers do. So that's the big advantage of this. But another thing it will allow you to do, I've got this big thing of seasoning right here. Now this is 30 ounces, 30 ounces of seasoning. Most seasoning shakers come in like seven or eight ounce containers, something you can go through pretty quick. Well, this is a Cajun seasoning. It's not something I'm gonna use every day. So I just took and I spooned build four of these up with the same seasoning and I'm going to pull a vacuum on these and that will last a very long time. Still a little bit in here and that's what I'll use first and then I'll move on to these right here. But let me show you how to do this. All right, so I just took where it had 2.2 on uh, sealing time. I brought that to zero. I brought the cool down to zero because we're not sealing a bag. We're strictly pulling a vacuum. And so you want to set that before you do a mason jar. All right, we're just gonna stack these in here. Now, I don't wanna put the ring on it. All you do is take your mason jar type top right there. Just make sure it's on there correct. Let me get my other two on here. Let's double check our lids, make sure they're on properly. Okay, let's pull it down. Let's see what happens. Just pull down your lid and hold it. Then the vacuum, I hold it from there. And there we go. Now let's check to see what we got. Look at there. We got a vacuum on that one. Got a vacuum on that one. And a vacuum on that one. So as you can see, that is a big plus. So what I'll do now is just take these out and I'll put the rings on them. And I'll write on the lid here what it is. And on a mason jar, you know how it pops in once it has a vacuum pulled on it? It's pulled in tight. You can sit there and shake it all day long. And sometimes those are a little hard to get off, but you can get them off. I just got finished with another video and I made a Cajun style sauce piquant. And I'm just gonna show you, now there's some condensation on that because I had to pour this in here hot and I put it in the freezer to cool it down. You don't ever want to vacuum anything in a chamber vac while it's still warm. It needs to be room temperature or colder. And the reason being, it will actually start boiling because it's under vacuum. I just wanna show you how moisture will not suck up through here. 
So as you can see, I brought this back to 2.2 on a selling time, 2.0 on the cool down time, and I left it at 35 seconds. All right, here we go. And there we go. And as you can see, not one bit of that tried to come up out of the bag. There was a little bit there from where I actually filled it, but that was not from anything sucking it out of the bag. And as you can see, this is all stainless steel. I'm not sure what grade it is, but it is stainless steel. Now, I'm going to measure across there. That's about 13 and 3 eighths, it looks like. That away. And this way, what is it? 14 inches. So you could do like 11 by 13 bags, I think is probably the largest you can do in this, which is handy for so many things. That's exactly what I do with my other vacuum sealer. And now that I have this one, I'll be doing the same thing with this one. I'm telling you, you cannot go wrong with a chamber vac, especially this model because of the price. The last time I looked, these were going for just under $400. And you can't beat that for a chamber vac. You really can't. And so you know, this chamber vac comes with its own oil. You do have to add oil to the compressor. And from time to time, you'll have to change that oil. It's a very easy five minute job. And uh, you'll have to replace it every now and then. The reason being, anytime you're pulling a vacuum into a vacuum pump, it's pulling air into it, which has moisture. And eventually, and no time soon, it, you know, you can go a long time without it. And uh, my other one is a maintenance free. It's an oilless, which makes it a little quieter. But this one's really not that loud. It's not bad at all. And for the price, man, you can't go wrong with this, guarantee you. So I'll have links in the description box if you're interested in this Vivor Chamber Vac. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm Russ Jones, Smokey Riz Barbecue.